हेलो क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम मोनिका बजाज यू आर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर यूनिट फर्स्ट फूड चैप्टर नंबर वन फूड वेयर डज इट कम फ्रॉम ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड फूड टू लिव एंड ग्रो फूड इज वन ऑफ आर बेसिक नीड्स टू परफॉर्म और टू डू एनी वर्क वी नीड एनर्जी दिस एनर्जी कम्स फ्रॉम फूड दैट वी ईट thus food act as a fuel for all living organism and helps them to do various day to day activities efficiently need for food food help us in various way food provide energy for various activity of the body food provides the materials for growth if we do not take balanced diet we cannot remain healthy food enable our body to fight diseases and protect us from infections food enables the body to repair and replace its worn out tissues the substance present in the food that provide the nourishment essential for the growth and maintenance of the body are called nutrients now we will see an extra mile saffron kesar is obtained from the leaves of crocus flower food varieties see figure 1.1 it show the different types of food eaten by us see these pictures certain facts about food there is a lot of variety in food we eat we eat different food items at different times of the day food eaten at breakfast lunch and dinner is different people from different states in india eat different kinds of food food ingredients some food items are made up of just one or two ingredients while other are made up of many ingredients an ingredient is one of the component or substance that is used to make a food item example of ingredients in some food items food items roti ingredients atta and water second rice rice grains and water dal pulses water salt spices terminate and oil next one is kheer rice water milk sugar cardamom and almond etc dhokla gram flour baking soda dosa idli or vada rice urad dal and oil food habits of animals different animals have different feeding habits based on their feeding habits animals can be divided into three groups herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous herbivorous herbivorous herbi means plant whereas vor means eater are those animal which eat only plant and plant products cow horse elephant sheep squirrel etc are some herbivorous animals see these examples of herbivorous animals next is carnivorous carni means meat whereas vor means eater those animals which eat only flesh or other animals are carnivorous like lion tiger eagle vulture etc are some carnivorous carnivores are also known as predators and the animals they kill are called prey huge side carnivores like tiger leopard lion etc have sharp and curved teeth strong jaws and claws to kill hold and tear their prey a few animals like the snakes and frogs have long tongues and small teeth to catch their prey these are some pictures of carnivores animals next one is omnivores omnivores omni all whereas vor means eater omnivores are those animal that eat both plants and flesh of other animals bear cow dog human beings etc are some omnivores they have body parts that can consume both types of foods see these pictures of some omnivores animals next one is scavengers and decomposers some carnivores and omnivores eat dead animals these are known as scavengers 
crow jackal and hyena are some of the scavengers scavengers are very important for us because they help in keeping our surroundings clean see these pictures of crow jackal and fungi some other organism feed on a destroy dead plants and animals these organism are called decomposers fungi and bacteria are example of decomposers next one is parasites there are some small animal which live on or inside other animals and get their food from them these are known as parasites fleas leeches mosquitoes and bed bugs are some of the parasites these are some pictures of parasites okay so next